You slide down the window pane as we shared each other's space. You'd hold my face in your hands and swear we'd always remain this way. And I believed you. But then you killed this one, no cat. You packed your things one day, saying there wasn't anything to explain, but that we needed to go our separate ways. And all I could say was, okay. I believe you. Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video where I'll be showing you guys how I implemented a warm up and stretch routine to keep me ready for any situation that happens on the court. So, stretching and warming up is a critical and undervalued skill that all keepers should implement in their game. Whether you're an outfield player that gets thrown into goals or you're the experienced goalkeeper in the squad. So for the first stretch here, we're going to be tucking our left leg into our right leg and we're going to reach for our toes on our right leg. So to get like a deeper stretch here we want to and we want to be holding this for around 15 to 20 seconds so then we're gonna get into our next stretch here this is called the butterfly so we tuck our ankles into our midsection there and then we want to press on our legs with our elbows to get a nice deep stretch okay guys so the next stretch we're gonna get into is our split save what you want to do is you want to get into our position like I'm showing you on the screen right now and we want to place our left arm behind us to give us stability while we stretch over to our right leg um, again with the first exercise we want to lean over our body with our chest to make a nice deep stretch we don't want this to hurt obviously so so we want to hold this for at least 15 to 20 seconds. Okay, so on to the next one. We have, we're going to put our right leg on our left knee and put our hands through and we're going to pull through with our left knee and we're going to hold that for 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, so moving on, we are going to lie on our back and our elbows to the floor, and we're simply going to reach over with our left leg and hold that stretch for 10 to 15 seconds. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so now I'll really like this stretch. This is one of my new stretches that I like to do. So this stretches our groin. But what we want to do is we want to get into this position here and we want to push our hips back towards, towards the back. We want to think, I guess, of pushing a draw back with your bum, like a hip hinge movement. So yeah, so that's how we want to do that one. Okay guys, so now we're going to get into our hand eye coordination warm up. Uh, so what we're going to do is stand more than shoulder width apart. And we're going to roll the ball in a figure eight motion with our fingers. Uh, this is just to get more touches on the ball and get more comfortable with the ball. Now we're moving up from here in a figure eight motion. Then we want to move up to our torso, moving the ball around our waist. With all these movements, we want to go anti-clockwise and clockwise. <laughs> So now what we're going to do is we're going to move up to our head, basically doing the exact same thing like we did when we were at our waist, just moving the ball anti-clockwise and clockwise. So guys, thank you, you've made it to the end of the video. Uh, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and enjoy this bonus clip. See, it wouldn't do this on a futsal court. It just wouldn't. <laughs> yes, come. Wow. Yes. We're done. Done. <laughs>